Oh, that was kind of terrifying. But Mango is gonna be available the 10th of December. Oh my god, he's such a cute bean. He's the beanest bean and he has toe beans. Amazing. Do you want to buy toe beans for yourself? Just stay tuned, 10th of December. Link down below if you want to save it as a bookmark. I, I know you want to, you beautiful bean. Well, ladies, lads, and lasses, welcome to the Kulik Eye. I think you look gorgeous today, to the point where I'm a little bit jealous. Can I have some of that gorgeousness, please? Give it to me! Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, so today, we're gonna look at r slash Confidently Incorrect, which is just a beautiful subreddit that I enjoy looking at, because it makes me feel less dumb, okay? That's the main reason why we're here today, so I do hope that you enjoy it. Mwah. Hunting, but make it vegan! Girl, don't know the word for gathering. Uh, speak for yourself. I, when I go out into the woods, I like to shoot myself a couple of mushrooms. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm strategizing carefully, cautiously planning my move. How have you placed the pieces? That's not a move. The board is already full. It's chests, right? They must go in order of height, right? Just like a school photo. Uh, spoiler, no, they don't. Thank you. 0 0.7 is 7 divided by 100. Freaking idiot. 0 0.07 would be 7 divided by 1,000. Learn your decimal places. <laughs> I say as I completely botch it. Here's a math lesson hack for everyone sitting at home being confuzzled in their brainicles. You count the zeros. If you divide by a thousand, you typically have as many zeros afterwards as you had in the thousand. Uh, nothing in this rule book says debt limit. I lend you my glasses. It says in the title, increase the public debt limit. <laughs> oh no! Oh god! <laughs> I don't even know the context for this debate. It's just really funny. <laughs> The director of Squid Game says it about capitalism, but it's really more like communism, says this random, <laughs> random writer. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Mr. Director, I know you made this thing with a really like precise theme in mind and, you know, thought provoking and all that stuff, but I felt it meant something different. So now it does. So, cause I am, I know how to type. Five plus five times five is 30. Order of operations exists, people. Wrong! Correct answer is 50! Oh, because you did the plus first? <laughs> oh! Let me just laugh! Uh, so, ha! It's wrong. They let Magic Johnson play basketball with full-blown HIV, but won't let Kyrie Irving play because he won't get COVID yet. Are you aware that NBA players do not have penetrative naughties during a game? Oh, I have been watching some very different basketball. Oh, get your ball into my hoop, as they say in basketball. Katy Perry has been seen showing off her preggy belly at beach in Malibu. I feel like she's been preggo for so long. Is it because the whole 2020 feels like that? Or is it because maybe she's having twins? Well, how long would the pregnancy take if she had twins? 9 plus 9 equals 19 months. There's so many layers of dumb. First off, no, it doesn't take longer. Secondly, 9 plus 9 isn't even 19. How did you get everything? You set the premise wrong. And you still did it wrong even in your own premise. How can... <laughs> Oh, here we go. Video educational material. Oh, I don't need your man splooshies. Even dog splooshies can give birth to human children. Go marry a dog. Oh, dear God. What? What is... What is the alternative motive here? Why are you making this argument? I'm really concerned. This comment was in a video of a Jimi Hendrix concert. Most overrated guitarist in history. He was only incredible because he was a man of color playing that musical genre. His rifts and solos are actually quite easy. Sorry, folks, but it's the truth. And no, he didn't play a right-handed guitar upside down and left-handed his entire career. It's a myth. He played left-handed guitars. Ah, yes. Trust me, bro. The best source of them all. Yes, most kids are not harmed long-term by getting molesties. Okay. By college, most are over it. Trust me, bro, I said so. Ever talk to women who got the molies? I have. Most get over it, and some like it. Oh, this is such a bad take. Oh my god. I've met, I think, six adult women who got molies and liked it. Alright, look at my little sample size here of completely anecdotal evidence without proof. That proves everything for everyone and everyone else's opinion, including the massive statistics and also individual people's stories is now invalid. Take that ratio, 11 likes and 509 quote tweets, that's very promising. I think people like your opinion. Menstruation is called period because back in the day when women's bodies weren't as polluted, all it was a tiny dot. Oh, because you mean it's named after the dot at the end of a sentence? Uh, yeah, no. Oh, here's a beautiful video from, like, a football game. Your mascot is a flightless bird! My duck is not a flightless bird! Yes, it is! You're the duck's <laughs> <laughs> How do they migrate? <laughs> 
You can go down to your local pond and see the ducks coming flying in and landing. This is so good. Image prediction, ping pong ball. Confidence, 99.9%. <laughs> the AI are here to blow us all away. Can you imagine playing beer pong with some really drunk people at a party and you just hand one of them an egg and they're just like, they keep playing because they don't pay attention. <laughs> be so funny if I don't have to clean it up. But that would be so funny. Please don't use calculator. Use your brain. 50 plus 10 times 0 plus 7 plus 2 is question mark. BAMDAS. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. There is no parentheses. You can't go by that if you don't have none. Oh my... <laughs> Ask any god darn heckin' math teacher to go back to school. All you do is solve left to right. The answer is 9. So please go back to school. <coughs> It is okay to be wrong sometimes. Part of being human is being wrong sometimes. But it gets kind of comedic when you're so confident about your wrong opinion that you call everyone else a moron and you tell them to go back to school when you obviously never showed up for a single god freaking day. Well, good day, kids. Today on Click Academy, uh, we're gonna do some beautiful math. So on this channel, it's always a controversial hellhole whenever I go through a basic mathematical problem. Once upon a time, I believe we did this problem. 16 divided by 2 times 2 plus 2. Because I want to demonstrate why PEMDAS is a piece of popo. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's a perfectly fine rule to memorize mathematic operations in basic math, but it's not like a mathematical definition in itself, and I'm gonna show you why. So in this problem, for example, that we have, it's usually rewritten like this in any kind of coherent math. And this is very controversial because depending on how you interpret the problem, you get two different answers. But in reality, it's just 16 uh, times 2, which is 32. That's essentially the, the conclusion of this baby. But PEMDAS, to me, doesn't really make a lot of sense. Because if we backtrack here for a second, I do a new file. No, I don't want to save this. <laughs> okay, well, oh, damn, I need a title. Click Academy. There we go, beautiful. Let's say, for example, we have a problem that looks like this. 2 plus 1 squared. Oh my god, what is this? PEMDAS tells us to do the parentheses first, which means that we get 3 to the power of 2, which is 9, right? But what if we switch it around? Oh my god, what if we do this one first instead? Well, you will be shocked to realize that we get exactly the same answer. My point is that if you know how to rewrite things, you get the exact same answer with everything you do. The only thing you really need to remember is that uh, multiplication and division t comes before plus and minus. PEMDAS in itself is not a mathematical definition. End of story. Please go nuts in comments. Thank you. <laughs> United States of America. Trump still lives here. I'm Swedish. Even I know that this is not the White House. Um, this is kind of embarrassing. What took you an embarrassing amount of time to figure out? That chickens always lay eggs without needing to mate with a rooster. Wait, really? Wait, wait, what? Wow, I'm 42 and I never actually knew this. I'm a little disturbed that someone who posted in a nursing subject doesn't understand how mammals reproduce. Oh, you know chickens egg-laying mammals? <laughs> <laughs> Take that, scientists. Ah. All right, here we go. So Conan, you snuck into the room to I, see what I, the- I sneaked into the room. Snuck isn't a word, Conan. And you went to Harvard and you should know that. Oh dear. What a- what a burn, I suppose? Snuck past and past part of sneak! Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Why would you do this live? Dear God. Who her? Who her? Learn to spell first. Ich bin Deutsch und hier sagt man woher. Trying to correct someone in a different language? There you go, baby. People complaining about these high fuel prices, yet they fail to understand simple maths. <laughs> Face palm. If you put a tenner's worth of fuel in the tank, then it's the same. You aren't paying any extra. Same as if you put 20 worth, and it still costs 20. So how are you paying more with prices going up? You're not. It's all scam to make people worry about thinking they're paying more when in reality it's the same price. Okay, first off, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Secondly, why would you want to trick someone into thinking something is more expensive? That's literally going to counteract your entire business and make people buy less. you like, <laughs> this is so silly. Not even the motive works out. <laughs> Wow, but women don't feel naughty attraction. Unlike men, females only evolve to have naughties for procreation. While the peepee -pee has pleasure glands, the vajudre does not. The female zenith of experience is a myth. No m female enjoys naughties. Oh, oh, God. Please tell me that you have never pleased a lady without telling me you have ever pleased a lady. Nailed it. <laughs> I am doing everything perfect. It's it's the women who are broken. Still probably the best correction ever. 
anti-Semitic crime in Germany at highest level recorded. Uh, corrected. Anti-Semitic crime in Germany at highest level in nearly two decades. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, 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 ah. So let me okay, get this go. straight. Jeff Bezos is worth $200 uh -huh. billion. Dollars, and there's 7 billion people yeah. on planet Earth. If Jeff Bezos oh, just gave each person a billion no, dollars, no, it's not. he would still have $193 no. oh. billion dollars left. Oh. Jeff Bezos is just selfish. I mean, the final st statement may be true, but also... <laughs> the amount of zeros is a little bit off. Not so good at this. Unreasonable claim. Reasonable explanation. Unreasonable denial. Reasonable proof. Unreasonable ignorance and conspiracy. Reasonable depression. Oh, this is just flat earth in a nutshell. This template is beautiful. The UK is not a part of EU. Yes, it is, you're confused. The UK left Europe, but it's still part of the EU. They just they just detached and sailed away from the continent like a blue ship. Ooh. Huh? Cells don't have gender, and they're asexual. A human cell can't be asexual. Ah, yes. Cells frick, of course. <laughs> have you heard about cells dividing? Uh-uh-uh. Oh no, that's not how it works, young one. Let me tell you about when the cells do the naughties. Friendly reminder that those plastic mags pull off, shrink your pee pee, and counteract testosterone. Ah, I base this opinion on. It's a fact. Dude, Tony Stark is a real person. He's a billionaire in Italy or some shit who made an iron suit. The movie based on him. Are you joking? No, I saw it in the magazine, and one of our teachers told me after the essay. Tony Stark got famous for his iron suit, he used to save people in Africa or something, and Marvel contacted him. It's not hard to Google this. This is the dumbest thing I've seen, and one of our teachers was definitely messing with you. You are texting on a phone. You can open it on a tab in five seconds and Google. Oh my god. People died from heart attacks not being trampled. Never before has this many people died from heart issues at a concert. Proof of vaccine was required. Oh. Okay. That's quite possibly might be the dumbest thing said on Twitter today. What does this have to do with that? What? What do you- Oh my- Oh, are you suggesting the vaccines to- Talk about being desperate for an excuse, my god. Put ice in a cup. Fill the cup with water. Let the ice melt. See if the water level rises. It's interesting how all the climate models predictions have been wrong, yet they still get to be the experts. Okay, yeah, I see what you tried to do here. It's very cute that you represented the entirety of Earth with a glass of water. And yes, you are absolutely correct. If you melt a piece of ice in a glass of water, it will indeed have the same level. That's because anything that floats pushes away the same amount of mass that is above the surface of water. So ice that is lower density than water will still melt into the same amount of ice. It pushes away the same amount of water, if you will. However, this model, of course, assumes that all the ice on Earth is floating and isn't actually resting on top of already existing landmass, which would mean that the water level rises if that ice melts. An experiment, if you want to do this, is simply hold some of the ice over the water and have it melt. Then you would have a more uh, accurate representation of what happens, which means that some of it that's already in water will not cause it to rise more, but a lot of it will. So, uh, yay. A Cleopatra movie with a white woman that's just ducky. She is literally Israeli. Can so here's a food me? store. Show me what the scam is. There's nothing behind it, is there, evidently? Oh my I god. Like that with everything. Manager said. Oh my god. There's nothing behind any of this. Okay, so there, there's no food stack behind some. The public would freak up, out. Like no, they really wouldn't. I, I worked with a client once when I was still in product management about uh, grocery optimization. And one the concept that is incredibly common when you work with groceries, it's, I'm not sure what the term is in English, but it's basically shelf fullness, essentially. The more full and stocked the shelf look, the more inviting it looks. And the more, it just increases consumers' uh, willingness to buy, essentially. It looks more attractive. It's not such a deep gotcha moment. <laughs> This guy's desktop. Oh god, what a mess. When someone calls a laptop a desktop, <laughs> I'm I'm so <laughs> I'm so <laughs> They mean the desktop on the computer. Oh, did you miss this? <laughs> Just a friendly PSA to restaurant staff. I know you're short-staffed, I know you're being pulled in all directions, and we try to be patient. But from experience, families with young kids have trouble sometimes being patient. Anyone who has young kids knows this. Just try to be mindful that they don't have the waiting skills that adults do, unfortunately. We know you work hard and do your best, but knowing this may be helpful. That is all. What is it? What? <laughs> Dear staff, I know you're overstaffed and working as fast as you can and can't work any faster, but my little gremlin over here, I don't want to, like, raise them properly and they're screaming all over the place, and that's not your fault because you're not working fast enough, so... <coughs> yes, I thought that would be good for you to know. Hail Satan! 
Oh, oh, it's no, it's that's that's six uh, a six uh, cornered star. You you didn't no, that's not that's not the same thing. Tuberculosis. Hashtag get vaccinated. There's no vaccine for it. TB. Yeah. Here's a link. Oh, <laughs> I love a sudden relaxation. Oh, a lot of teenagers being atheists these days. So you're an atheist? Yes. Do you don't believe in God? I don't believe in silly magic. So who created the universe? It came from nothing. Okay, but this is just. <laughs> This is just such a bad representation of any kind of argument. Oh my god. What we deem as the universe today was essentially the Big Bang that birthed the universe when it came to existence, which was everything d condensed into a hot, basically infinite point of space-time just mashed together. That's hardly nothing. I think the best explanation I've had someone put it is in a book by Stephen Hawking, and he explains it sort of like explaining what happened before the Big Bang is sort of like trying to explain what's south of the South Pole. Time didn't really exist before the Big Bang, so explaining it kind of reaches outside our current dimensions of the universe we exist in. But, uh, no, this is, this is a garbage argument, stop. <laughs> in ancient Egypt, they bruised the amygdala in order to make slaves more submissive and compliant. Okay, so, yeah, that's basically lobotomy, that's kind of gross. And here they're swabbing for, for a little virus. Totally, yes. You think, you think they did this with a little cotton piece halfway up your nose? No, they did, they take a f***ing hammer and nail and just give it down! It's not the same! <laughs> Yeah, you're telling me they're played by the same person? It's called being an actor. <gasps> Women shouldn't be allowed an opinion on sporting matters. You're an idiot. You're! <laughs> I, I got them whammons with my glorious grammar. What do cows drink? What do cows drink? <laughs> it was a joke. Go on, he's a joke. You got this. What do cows Oh no, I already know where this is heading. <laughs> No, don't do it. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Hey, milk. You f***ing idiot! You idiot! My seven-year-old is convinced that some of his mates at school are watching Squid Game, but none of them can give any details of it beyond the name. He also told me he knew the F-word. Wouldn't say it out loud, but told me it was spelled FOD. <gasps> Shows what the FOD they know. <laughs> Thank God for providing scientists and medical researchers with the knowledge to make the polio vaccine. It would be a blessing if all people accepted the COVID vaccine as they did with the polio vaccine. Um, polio is a life-threatening disease. COVID is a virus. There is no cure for a virus. Hup -de -dup -de -dup -de -dup -de I get my science from my mom's stay-at-home Facebook group. LGBTQ representation among comic book characters has exploded in recent years, but in 2021 it went supernova, both on the page and the screen. Twelve superheroes who came out in 2021. Gay people don't even watch superhero movies, so that's the kicker. What? <laughs> what has that to do with anything? Where do people get these opinions? I don't understand. When I was six, my sister was half my age. Now I am 70. How old is my sister? <laughs> 35. Oh, let's have a hard one next time, please. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, more like three to the power of five miles per hour. Eh, pretty sure he was going more than 15 miles per hour. Maybe check your math next time. Uh, 3 to the power of 5 is 243. Pretty sure it's 15. <laughs> Look, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, it's 15. <laughs> Advertised sizing is a lie. The monitor performs well. The sizing is a straight lie. See my pictures. The box clearly states 27-inch monitor, but the box itself measures 27-inch. The monitor only measures 24. It, 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 go, it's like, you know, you measure it on the, on the diagonal, though, that's... How, so, anyway. I am a black gay guy, and I can personally say that Obama did nothing for me. My life only changed a little bit, and it was for the worse. Everything is so much better under Trump, though. I feel respected, which I never do when Democrats are involved. All right, I... You could, you could at least try to switch accounts, for the love of God. Oh. Oh. Image prediction, pineapple. Confidence, 99.3%. Oh, that is a good, juicy, voluptuous pineapple if I've ever seen one. Yes, indeed. All right, here's a little bit of a construction work, baby. Well, look at that. We got a power tool knocked off a little bit of a surface here. I don't forget. Okay, how does the machine work? Come on, show us. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bravo. Bro. Oh my God, he's been doing all the wall. I hate how people butcher foreign words. You don't pronounce double L. Bell fall a kill billion sell million. Check your fact before you post them. I clearly meant in French. Yeah, those are all French words. <laughs> oh no, no. Oh. Mayonnaise is not a dairy product, lol. It is, it's made with eggs, but indeed it's also not made of milk. My mistake. 
eggs aren't dairy. Cow eggs are! <laughs> I would like to feel the inside of a 23-year-old. Pew! Lol, she's legal. That's that's not something bad. Where you're from, maybe. Where in the world would a 23-year-old be considered a child? In the future, we're not going to be considered legal until we're 40. <laughs> there in Seattle. There in Seattle. There in Seattle. In TikTok and Instagram comments, I have found my conclusion about spending way too much time online are, are not the brightest spoons in the shed, so to say. Not trying to go full conspiracy, but I've been noticing some unusually strange behavior from friends slash family who are vaccinated. This isn't a conspiracy. I have a friend that literally turned gay after getting the vaccine. The chemical imbalance from the vaccine is changing people. Oh my god, the gay agenda. If you look really careful in the vial, you can see a little rainbow. Believe me, I have facts that I got from... Trust me, bro. Every seafood restaurant in DC should have a special this week called Squid Pro Quo. Actually, the expression is Quo Pro Quo, not squid. It's Latin. Yeah, but that was the... The whole point was a pun, though. They felt like the whole... Okay, all right. How the frick do you spell owl? As in lane like owl nine. I will nine, dumb, dumb butt. Oh, aisle nine. As, as in like cereal in aisle nine. You're all terribly mistaken. I'll brag about you to my friends if you can find the C... Do you mean the G spoot? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't. Oh, really? Then what did you mean by the C word? <laughs> I am a master with the laddies. What is the biggest country in Africa? Did did it did Ah yes, South Africa, the country. Yes. DNA tests aren't a real thing. Stop watching NCSI, lol. <laughs> I have so many IQs. My husband and I would be considered the least educated out of our friend group. Yet we are the only two unvaxxed. The rest have bought into this entire thing. Yet this is what they want. Us to believe the educated people know more and are protecting people by getting the shots. We are the two least educated of our friend group and we did the dumb thing. How can other people be so dumb? Do you read what you write before you post it? <laughs> Enough with the wind already. Ever since they installed all those big fans up on the hill, it becomes even windier. Whose bright idea was that? I've noticed when they're off. We get a nice calm spell. Please turn them off at least on weekends. Okay, you mean wind turbines? All right. So, uh, correlation is not causation. They spin when the wind blows. They don't create the wind. Dear God. Peckity peckity. Coyote sighting! Is this a... Coyote, okay. I'll admit to being skeptical about coyote sightings in the neighborhood. I suspect that people are thinking they are seeing a coyote when in fact it's a fox or something else. Imagine how surprising it was when I actually saw a coyote myself. Really fortunate I've gotten a photo. Watch your small pets closely. You know, that thing has two legs and looks like a bird. I'm pretty sure it's not a coyote. I'm just, <laughs> just gonna go on a limb here. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do it. Let's Darwinism evolution does not make sense. So yes. first, it's important to know what the scientific method is. So the first thing of the scientific method yeah. is systematic observation. So let's apply this to Darwinism evolution. So a summary of this theory would be a species uh, turning into another species. Try to think of one oh, example on. that's observational. Oh. There is none. Oh, duh, oh. Okay, observing something and finding it doesn't necessarily mean you have to look at- Oh, here is an octopus that suddenly gave birth to a cow. Oh, that's sign. No, that's that's not what is expected. A better way of thinking about it: Do you look a little bit like your parents? If the answer is yes, that's basically evolution for you. And take that little change that you inher inherit from your parents over like a billion years, and then you will probably have a bunch of different species that evolve depending on their environment and that kind of stuff. My chicken give didn't hatch an egg that turned into a buffalo. So evolution is fake. Ooh, here we Morning, go. A, 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 a telly. Hello. Oh, are you glued to Cameron? Uh, just to your screen, unfortunately. Unfortunately? What do you do for a living, well, Cameron? I'm a carpenter. Right. A carpenter, right. So how safe is that for the climate? Mm -hmm. Well, I work with timber, which is a much more sustainable material rather than concrete. I also but you work with trees off. that have been cut down then, don't you? Mm -hmm. It's a sustainable building practice. How is it sustainable mm, if yeah, you're that's... killing trees? Because it's regenerative, you can grow trees. Right. Well, you can you can grow all sorts of things, can't you? Well, you can't grow concrete. <laughs> you can. <laughs> See you, Cameron. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh.
Oh, so beautiful. Well, ladies, lasses, and lasses, I sincerely do hope you enjoyed this wonderful video. And I do hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Take care. Mwah. Psst.